What's going on YouTube Nation? This is Dark Dividend. If you are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Um, this is my Fun Rise Friday. I'm actually uh, post making this video Thursday night. So I'm going to be driving uh, back home on Friday. But I want to give you my response to the email that uh, they sent me. So earlier last week, if you're new to my Fun Rise channel, I did ask because I'm in the balanced portfolio of basically, okay, there's these E-rates and E-funds. I was wondering if I can be in all the E-funds and stuff and, and because it's balanced. So this is my question I did when I woke up yesterday. So I said, I have been in the balanced portfolio and I noticed you're changing around a lot of the E-rates and adding new, new E-rates. Is it possible in the near free, in the near future I know that wasn't really, that's what happens when I wake up and don't have coffee. The grammar is terrible. Um, if you'll add all three E-funds to the balanced portfolio, that would be awesome. I said, thanks. I said, Darth Dividend, thank you for your thoughtful question. Thank you at your account level. And it says in advance, you have an option to invest a plus plan, which should allow you to allocate a number of E-funds depending on your selected plan. That said, as the manager of your portfolio, we regularly monitor, evaluate, and update the funds in your plan to ensure that they are aligned with the plan's objectives. Occasionally, we'll give you exposure to new funds or retire funds within your profile that are not currently accepting additional investments. Currently, three recently established funds in our platform are open to additional um, investments, the balance E-REIT, the income E-REIT, and the growth E-REIT. We believe that these newer funds, which have mostly cash on hand at this time, are in a unique position to opportunistically deploy capital and take advantage of distress that is starting to occur throughout the market. In the short term, there will be no difference in the allocations between the standard plan and its plus variation. However, we intend to allocate your funds and interest in your long-term investment goals. As markets begin to normalize, we feel that there's less volatility and potential risk exposure. We'll likely reintroduce some portion or all of the operating funds back into the plans and resume a more uh, varied set of offerings. We also expect that this will re reintroduce differentiation into the plus plans. As things continue to evolve, we look forward to providing you with additional updates on the real estate investments within your portfolio we appreciate your continued trust and loyalty at this time. If you have any additional questions, check out our help center or simply reply to this email. We're happy to help. I didn't put his name there just for, you know, professional reasons. So basically you have an option to advance through a plus plan, which should allocate you across a number of e-funds depending on your selected plan. So I'm in the balance plan. I'm going to jump to that real quick. Actually, um, I'm just going to discuss why I think it's better to stick with the, the, the balance plan because as I jump to my Fundrise account in a second, it, I just think it's, it's better just by the response of the email that they gave me. And I mean, these guys are pretty professional. They know what they're doing. They know what they're talking about. Uh, I mean, I talk to these guys on the, over the phone all the time to understand really what it's about. So the balance E-rate, the income E-rate, and the growth E-rate sound pretty exciting. So basically, I'm, I'm just reading through this. Uh, I'm going to look in these e-funds that they're going to discuss and I'm going to get into detail about this because I may jump into the um, the long-term one where I can get money off of appreciation but at the same time I really like these rates so I mean if you look at the plan it's um, let me just uh, jump let me jump to Fundrise. So here's the supplemental income, and then here's the balance one, and then here's the appreciation total return. So, you know, it's 
it's still not bad. I mean, here's the returns via quarterly dividends. Here's the one that I'm in. So you get a piece of the pie with dividends and appreciation. So it's not too bad. You get both, which is not bad at all. And, you know, there's debt and there's equity. And, you know, the annual return expect, expectation, that's going to be really interesting. I mean, I do make pretty good money on appreciation. Uh, I'm going to jump to my portfolio real quick. Los Angeles E-Fund and the National E-Fund are pretty good. I mean, I have a growthy rate. My performance, let's see, let me just go to my portfolio. So, I mean, it is slowly going up. I mean, I'm close to $12,000. The dividends and appreciation are pretty nice. It's, uh, I mean, I'm okay with it. I, I really am. I mean, things are ramping up. What do we got? Oh, they already, let's see what they said about this. In our latest letter, we walked through our strategy to take in full consideration of the impact of the current downturn as we make new investments. As has generally occurred within the past recessions, we ex expect a tra attractive, gosh, I can't talk, opportunistic investments will begin to present themselves, but this is likely to take time, so patience will be key. In the immediate term, the investment plans will prim primarily be allocated to newly launched funds that we will be able to proactively pursue investment strategies, take full consideration of the impacts of the current downturn. Generally, we expect that there are three broad phases in our investment strategy in 12 to 18 months. Phase one, minimize, maximize near-term flexibility. Uh, public markets is their first one, and then maintain maintain stability and increase yield, uh, distress debt and private market rescue bridge loans, and then capitalize on opportunities for higher potential return, uh, undervalued properties that we intend to hold long-term. So, I'm just trying to see anything that's, so, they said real estate markets move slowly, so we believe that it'll take several months for the downstream effects of the pandemic and subsequent response to fully work their way in the corner of our economy. The Great Recession, for example, lasted 18 months. Many of the buying opportunities in the real estate market didn't open up until 12 to 24 months after it began. Meanwhile, it's barely done it's barely been 60 days since the current downturn. So here's the recession. Here's April 2010. It's February and then April. And April 2010. So they're basically saying they're being more conservative in that. Here, so here's phase phase one, maximize near-term stability. Phase two, maintain stability. Phase three, capitalize on opportunity for higher potential return. So basically, you know, the investment grade rate bond, and the treasury wrote, I mean, I'll probably go over this in more detail next week, uh, but really the big question is about the ba balance portfolio and why I should stick to it. I, I just, so far things are looking good. And my position's pretty good. National E-Fund, the Heartland E-Rate, the Income E-Rate. I mean, it's a small percentage of the portfolio and all these ones are kicking in. So the E-rate, I mean, these are a lot of them. Whew. Growth E-rate, I mean, they're adding a lot of these. So I'm just hoping with my dividends and appreciation that this will kick in. A lot of projects, here's the growth E-rate. 
then here's another apartment development. I mean, they're going crazy with these national e fund. So, you know, the national e fund and the Los Angeles e fund look pretty attractive. So, you know, maybe in the long term I could switch, but these are pretty, these are looking pretty good right now. Once uh, things start looking bigger and uh, things start ramping up with that, I'll probably change. But for right now, I'm going to stick with my guns and stick what I see so far. And, uh, you know, E fund's pretty big. You know, I have a pretty big percentage of the E fund. So just leave it alone. Let the dividends reinvest and go from there. I mean, I put in, put in like pretty much ten thousand dollars, and then just left it alone. So things are looking pretty good. I mean, these are just ramping up. So, um, so let them go. Let them fly. And sometimes there's a phrase when it comes to investing, and uh, that I always like to say is just put the money in, let it fly, man, let it grow. So that's about it. So. Um, that's really what I have to say. I mean, this is, um, it's mostly a response that I had. And I told you guys that I was going to post a video about the response that they gave me. So, you know, so far, so good. I mean, I can't really complain about what's going on and everything. I mean, I've made so far with Funrise $1,394.68. So, I mean, my long-term goal is to maybe get to 100,000, see what happens. So, you know, just let it, let it go. Let it, you know, do its thing. I mean, I'm, I'm making almost cash, like, you know, every day, like I see in the corner. So, again, it's going to take time. The, um, basically, the compound interest will kick in and, um, you know, I'll be it you know, $90,000 richer from what I put in. So that'll be the nice thing about that. And then once the dividends reinvest, I mean, I wish I could put in like 20 a month. I mean, if I could do that, I would probably do that. But, um, you know, as of right now, it's, it is what it is. So I'll just let the dividends reinvest and uh, go from there. I'm making pretty good money with dividends and appreciation. So the appreciation is pretty strong. Who knows what will happen, but, you know, I'll stick with the balance plan for right now just because of the circumstances of, um, you know, what's going on with, um, you know, the bug and uh, go from there. So thank you for watching this video. Uh, make sure if you guys are new, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. Uh, the one thing I was just discussing, I'm going to go back to that, um, their phases and their plans. I'm going to go into that in detail and tell you what I think. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, but um, you know, this is uh, very promising and very exciting to see Funrise uh, do some damage and um, kick some ass. So that's all I have to say. So thank you and have a good one.